What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I am in Pai, which is in northern Thailand. Uh, I got here yesterday, left Chiang Mai, it was about four hours drive, give or take, so in comparison to some of the other drives I've done this trip, it was a walk in the park. So um, today I've rented a bike, and with two other people, they're in getting a drink or something. And we've already been to one waterfall called Pumbok Waterfall, I think. I'll put the, the name right here. Bam, 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 that's the name. So that's where we've just been, so I'm gonna show those clips here. Um, yeah, now that was the waterfall. Um, she wants to be in the vlog. Hey. Lots of words there, great. <laughs> anyway, we're at some bamboo bridge now, so I'm gonna show you around there and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. place pretty pretty nice um debating whether to go for a swim in here or not I think not I think I'll just have to sweat it out God knows what you would catch in there You'd walk around but three feet by the time you get out of it A lot of you may not have heard of the town called Pai and honestly this time last week I hadn't either less than less than a week even probably three days ago I hadn't either but uh, it's actually a really really cool place it's like a little kind of hippie town um, the one thing is that if you're like looking for local experiences they're not really here in Pai it's like walking down the streets last night it was 90 like 95% tourism people like tourists like white people but like for me I'm obviously it's nice to experience the local culture but it's not like a, a deal breaker for me if it's touristy obviously there's a point but like I would recommend why it's really cool um, like I've been here for less than a day and I really love it If you're watching this video and you're in Pai or you're watching this video and you're contemplating coming to Pai, definitely come here. I think as far as I know it's just called Bamboo Bridge. Um, it takes maybe 15 minutes to walk back to like where the temple is and then 15 back. But it's, uh, it's cheap, it's less than a euro in um, and it's really peaceful. Like you can, you can probably hear me perfectly because there's absolutely no background noise so it's really nice here, um, would definitely recommend coming. This type of place is definitely my kind of thing, you know, I, uh, I prefer kind of being out in nature rather than being in big cities. Like when I go to big cities I spend maybe like two days there max just because like it's obviously cool to see different cities around the world um, but at the same time it's just, for me it's just too hectic, too much going on. I like kind of like myself, I, I'm a pretty chilled out person, I like chilled out places, you know, go finding waterfalls and places like this, that's kind of my my scene, so like, obviously I'm in Thailand and everyone is saying, oh, you have to go to the islands, but I'm just like, oh, like obviously I'm gonna go, but that's not my kind of thing, because it's just pure, like, party 24-7, so like, don't get me wrong, I like it, um, I like going out every once in a while for like, two times a week maybe, three times at a push, but the parties are just like, or not the parties, the islands are just like, every night you have to, be, you know, have to go out, but the easiest way to meet people when you're solo traveling is to go out with them. Um, like that's how I met uh, Matt here. Met him in Bangkok just on a night out from the hostel. Um, pretty much how I met, meet everyone actually is just like, at night time in the hostels when people are drinking, so it's not really my scene, but you know, it has to be done sometimes. So we've just reached a viewpoint here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty good, but obviously the best way to show this off is in the sky. So off you go. Okay, 
So as you saw, pretty um, pretty scenic place. Uh, we've stopped for lunch, and in common fashion for this channel, I probably will not record my food because I always forget. But I will try today. I'm gonna think about it. It's not too exciting though. I just ordered fried rice, so we'll see. Bye. I told you I'd remember. Okay, so I've just reached a place called Pie Canyon. Um, pretty sick looking place here. You see behind me. It's more, it's a, I think it's a sunspot, sunset spot. So we're about an hour away from sunset. I'm not sure if we're gonna wait that long, but uh, I think it's golden hour now in the next few minutes. So hopefully we get some good shots. I'll show you around now. <laughs> The other two people I'm with, um, so I, I came down kind of like a place. I saw a quieter place where a few people were, and obviously I wanted to get away from the crowds for a video and to take off with my drone. So they didn't come down with me, and now I just I went wandering, and uh, <laughs> I'm lost. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna just keep going away, the opposite way from where I came. So you know. If that doesn't bring me the right way, I don't know what will. Obviously, turn around will, but uh... Oh man, I talk some amount of rubbish, you know that? But sure, listen, it is what it is. I am who I am. I will not change. Definitely not the right way, but um... I'm here now, I'll go check it out. Like worst comes to worst, I can just fly my drone, see where, man, <laughs> worst comes to worst. I can just fly my drone and see where I am and uh, work my way back that way, but that's not, it's not part of the adventure, is it? Going and getting lost in Thailand, that's an adventure. Like, there is literally no one. I haven't seen anyone in about 10 minutes and I'm just walking, so. Obviously, if you're if you're seeing this, I get home. But if they find this camera in 10 years, and somehow the SD card has survived 10 years, oh, there's a, someone over here. Obviously, I'm going in the right way. Never mind. You'll see this. I'll be alive. Yay for life. Earlier, I was saying like I prefer this sort of thing over like big cities this is why you know obviously you can go and get lost in a city but you're still in a city there's loads of people around when you get lost out here you're you're by yourself it's brilliant um, that's like one thing that I really enjoy is going out and getting lost like having no idea who I am and then finding my way back like I'm starting to see people now but like for a good 10 minutes there I was like yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to live out here because there's no getting back. But oh, look at this! This is what it's about, man. This yeah, this, this place is Pie Canyon, as I said earlier. But uh, if you're ever man, multitasking at its finest, climbing up a cliff and vlogging. Anyway, if you're ever in Pai, come to Pai Canyon, it's free in. It's about five, 10 minutes out of the actual town Pai and just come and get lost. This is like, I know I've only been in Thailand a week, but this is already the highlight of my time in Thailand. Um, and I've done some pretty cool things here already. But this is definitely by far the coolest because way up the top there, a couple hundred people, they're all getting the same pictures. They're all crowded. You walk for 10 minutes, you're by yourself. 
can't even hear them anymore. This is worth it, you know? It's what it's about. In my mind, anyway, this is what traveling is about. It's about going out. Obviously going to the tourist places, but getting away from the tourist spot. I don't know where I was looking there. Getting away from the touristy spots in the touristy spots, if that makes sense. Like, Pi Canyon is probably the most touristic place in Pi. But I walked for 10 minutes and I'm by myself. I can see everyone else up there. Hang on. Way up there. That's where everyone else is. And I'm down here by myself, so yeah. This is what I consider traveling in my opinion. Obviously, sometimes it's not always possible and it, it was quite sketchy getting down here, but not even just here, just if, in general. When you're in tourist places, by all means go to the touristy parts where everyone else is, because they're usually the best pictures. Or not usually the best, but sometimes they are the best, but then I'm so out of breath, I'm so unfit now. But then get out, go and get lost. Because that's when you, you find the true magic in these places. I know I'm, quite, I'm talking quite a bit here, but like, I've actually had people saying I should talk more in the video. So to those who are asking, it's your lucky day, I'm talking a lot. Funniest thing happened to me yesterday when I checked into my new hostel. I was walking along and um, there was some guy who was sitting there and he was looking at me and I was looking at him. I was like, where do I know this guy from? And then it hit me and I was like, oh, no way. We met each other in Ho Chi Minh. So maybe five, six weeks ago now at this stage. And uh, the same thing happened in Ho Chi Minh. I went out first night in the new hostel again, first night in Vietnam, went out sat down in like the balcony in my hostel where I was looking at the seat, the streets and <laughs> there were two lads out there and we were, we were looking at each other as well and we were like, where do I know you from? And then it hit us, it was from Abood in Bali. So I've been in three countries of this, in this trip and I've seen them <laughs> three times. And he's, they're actually from Belfast, there's two of them, they're from Belfast, actually really cool guys. Um, it's just funny, it's like, a, it's a really small world. <laughs> Alright, I'm back in the right place, but now it's a struggle of finding the other two. Just hope they haven't left me, because I, I do know the way home, so it's fine if they've left, but obviously I'd prefer if they had waited for me. Okay, so I just climbed up a really sketchy cliff face, which is all good and well, you know, I'm up here, it's fine. But it's only after hitting me now. I have to go back down it in the dark, so that'll be good fun. Um, I'll probably put, definitely put the camera away for that. So, this place is unreal. Cue more lovely, lovely images, scenes. decided that I'm gonna go back down now just before it gets fully dark just cuz I don't fancy doing that in the dark um, so yeah I'll, I'll watch the proper the Sun has set now but I'll watch it get proper dark with everyone else all right made it back up without killing myself I would say that is a raging success now I have to go and find the other two probably not still here it's been a good hour hour and a bit so I'll be driving home alone. You're about to see why I told, why I was saying that it's always better to get a bit away from the crowds. There is a huge amount of people here. I'll show you when I get up here. All right, so got lucky the guys actually waited for me. Didn't think they would, but um, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, so thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I know I enjoyed making it, so if you haven't already hit like, give me a like. If you haven't already hit subscribe, 
not going to force you. Your life, you know what to do though. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.